Tesla shareholders, let's take a look at Apple's stock split history. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back in the video. If you guys don't know me, my name is Jermaine Nellis. I live in San Francisco. I make sort of random videos and I like to travel and I like to ride bikes and skateboards and that sort of thing. But anyway, now if you guys may know, Apple and Tesla, they're both splitting their stock price. Now, there's been so many articles out there saying that when, when, when companies split stock prices, it doesn't add any value. Yes, this is true. It doesn't add any value. Your shares are still worth the same. However, it sort of does add value because the value that it adds is that other people can invest in that same company because it's cheaper. So yeah, it doesn't exactly add value to the stock, but it sort of makes that stock more more accessible to a lot of other people. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the stock price is gonna go up or down, but it, if it makes it more accessible to people, that just makes me wonder, maybe more people would, would, would buy it, okay? Now Apple and Tesla, they're both splitting their stock price and Apple announced, yeah, we're gonna do a four to one split. And then Tesla said, we're gonna do a five to one split. Now I thought I would, um, show you guys this chart here. I found this online and I sort of remade it, but basically this is Apple's stock split history. Now, here, this person in 1987 bought 100 shares at $1.40 a share, okay? It cost a total of $140. Now this person held their shares. Now, later in the same year, Apple did a two for one split. So their 100 shares were now worth 200 shares, okay? They're worth the same price, but, but they have 200 shares instead of 100 shares. Okay, so Apple didn't split their stock price for a long time after 1987. Now to 2000, this is one I remember, Apple's stock price. I remember this one in, in 2000s, okay? They split it in 2000, just a two to one, nothing special. Um, now this person has 400 shares. Now they first invested back in 87. In 2000, now they only, in the year 2000, they only have 400 shares. So it's like, yeah, they started off with 100 and you know, now they got 400, right? Doesn't seem so glamorous, okay? Doesn't seem so glamorous. So over time, five more years go by. This person is still holding Apple shares, all right? Same Apple shares they paid $1.44. for. Now look at this stock split. Another two to one stock split, okay? So with this two to one spot st stock split, now this person has 800 shares. Started off with 100, now you got 800 shares. Now things really picked up in 2014. That's when things really picked up. Because in 2014, Apple split their stock price seven to one. Now, I cannot exactly remember, but somewhere around 2014, Apple started paying a dividend. So they split their stock price seven to one. So now this person that had 800 shares, they started off with 100 shares, 5,600 shares, okay? They started off with 100 shares and the only thing they do is just hold, okay? They just held the shares. Now, this year, 2020, Apple is getting ready to do a four to one split again. Okay, so 33 years ago, this person bought 100 shares of Apple. And today, the 100 shares of Apple is now 5,600 shares of Apple. Now, when the split happens within a couple of days, the 5,600 shares of Apple would now be worth 22,000 400 shares of Apple. Now, let's go back to the dividend because um, if I'm not mistaken, it was around 2014, Apple started paying a dividend. Now, let's just say you own 800 shares of Apple, right? And they're paying a dividend. Dividend's not much. Maybe it's 25 cents a share or maybe it's 50 cents a share or maybe it's a dollar a share, okay? So if it was a dollar a share, back in 2005 and you just kept reinvesting that dividend. Well, a lot of people just reinvested that dividend, meaning that you would have more shares of Apple without buying shares of Apple. But let's just use the example that they, this person did not reinvest the dividend. Let's just say that this person just 
just took the dividend out and kept it. Well, this is what they would come up with. As of now, Apple stock price is trading at $475 a share. And if we did 475 times 5,600, this would give us a grand total of $2,660,000. And this is from a $140 investment. Now, why did I make this whole video? And why did I just make this video to say all this? I make this video to say all of this right here, okay? You may be a Tesla shareholder today, okay? You may be a Tesla shareholder today. Maybe you have one share, maybe you have two shares. As of the making of this video, I have 35 shares and 31 of them were bought under $300 a share, right? And I literally have had people make fun of me because they're like, yeah, you only own a couple of shares of Tesla. Like, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna make any money like you're just a little guy you only own a couple shares of tesla well <laughs> look at how this person just years ago only owned a hundred shares of apple i only owned a hundred shares of apple and this person now when this stock price splits they're gonna own twenty two thousand shares okay so you today maybe you have one share of tesla okay well, well in two weeks you're gonna have five shares Okay, maybe you have just uh, just 10 shares of Tesla. Well, guess what? Those 10 shares are going to be worth 50 shares. All right. So you got to start somewhere with investing. Okay, you got to start somewhere with investing. You can start today. You can start tomorrow. You can start next week. You can start in 10 years from now. But if you start, you can take advantage of some insane growth over over the long term over the long term and tesla is one of these companies that like i want to be a part of like i remember back in the day when i was living down in santa barbara and i had a lot of friends that worked at the apple store they moved in next door and they were so happy when that stock price was going up and when they're announcing stock splits and they're announcing dividends and stuff these people were making so much money because they were holding so many shares of apple right and this sort of thing happens with companies like it happens, like people invest in companies, they make tons of money, people are just really happy, they change their life, they can do other things, you know? And, you know, you have some people that don't invest in the stock market and they just do other things, you know? Maybe they invest in real estate, maybe they don't invest at all, maybe they just party all the time. But I thought I would, um, you know, show this, show this graph that I found online, I thought this was pretty awesome and maybe this would inspire other people to save, invest, Look for that next opportunity but anyway if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this from me subscribe and thanks a lot for watching peace out y'all